We're going to explain what Avalanche is and why you should consider building on it. You'll learn why Avalanche is different from other chains out there and why it may be the right fit for you. We have Usman here who is the senior dev rail at Avalanche who is going to explain to us what Avalanche is. Then at the end of this video, I'll show you how you can actually deploy your very own smart contracts to the Avalanche testnet. Avalanche is the best place to launch your own layer one blockchain. You can think of it as sort of a network of networks. At its base layer, Avalanche started off as a consensus mechanism. Avalanche consensus was actually the first starting point of where Avalanche began as a solution to the problems introduced by classical consensus and Nakamoto consensus and trying to bridge the best of both worlds. Initially, Avalanche started off as a network where uh, we launched our own blockchain on top of this consensus mechanism, which was EVM based and realized its robustness. And very quickly, we realized that many other people want to launch blockchains as well. And because of Avalanche's consensus mechanism being so open and allowing you to customize your validator sets in any which way you choose, we believe it's the best place to launch layer one blockchains. One of the really big value differentiates, uh, I guess, that you could get with Avalanche is that we're a multi-chain network. You actually are given the ability to interact with blockchains running multiple different virtual machines. If you want to interact with EVM blockchains or deploy on top of an EVM blockchain or deploy your own EVM blockchain, uh, you can do so. Uh, if you want to run your own EVM blockchain that is fully customized to your liking using stateful pre-compiles where you can control who's transacting and who's deploying smart contracts on that blockchain, you can do that as well. Or you could actually create your own virtual machine from scratch using our really cool SDKs that we have available. At one level, you have developers who are so in the weeds, they're building virtual machines. They're interfacing with complex consensus mechanisms and consensus algorithms. So you have that level of developer who you're targeting because we have an SDK called the Hyper SDK, uh, which is really complex and it, and it deals with building custom virtual machines from the ground up. But then you also have these developers who are building, like you mentioned, games, right? Uh, Avalanche has a lot of games underneath its umbrella. That's a whole different set of developers. And then you also have consumer facing application developers, right? We also have a lot of different social applications. It's, it's just all these different levels that you're targeting, right? Because again, when you, when you give developers the ability to build things in a free way, uh, you really get people of all different interest levels and, and skill levels as well. Uh, we have a, a fully fledged educational platform that we've created called the Avalanche Academy. It goes from everything from, you know, fundamental blockchain concepts all the way to deep diving into building your own layer one blockchain, all the way to creating a caution communication. And then there's also some really cool deeper concepts like building your own custom virtual machine that are coming soon, as well as our uh, documentation, which has some cool tutorials and really cool things to play around with that I'm sure uh, any developer would really appreciate. Now that we've learned a little bit more about Avalanche, I'm going to show you how you can start building on Avalanche and how to deploy your very first smart contract to that chain. We'll cover how to get some testnet funds on Avalanche, then we'll use ThirdWeb's pre-built smart contracts and dashboard to deploy your very own ERC-20 smart contract to Avalanche. So let's get started and first let's get some testnet funds on Avalanche. All right, I am in Avalanche's docs here and we're in the section of their docs where they go over how to get testnet funds to use on their Fuji testnet. Fuji is the name of Avalanche's testnet and we're going to be getting some testnet AVAX on that Fuji testnet. So they have a link here to the Fuji testnet faucet, which we're going to check out in just a bit. You can see here, we're going to have to follow these instructions here and Avalanche lays it nicely out in their documentation here. One thing that you will have to note and we'll go over it again once we get into the faucet is you do have to have some sort of mainnet funds on Avalanche in the wallet that you are claiming the testnet funds for. If you don't have actual AVAX on their mainnet within the wallet that you are trying to get testnet funds for, you will either have to get a coupon code, which you can get from being part of their community. You can see here, you can request it on Guild or you can ask their admins or mods on their Discord for some testnet AVAX as well, and they can send some over your way. So according to these docs here, again, we're going to have to follow these in order to get some testnet AVAX, but we're going to head on over to the faucet right now. 
and it's gonna bring you over here to the Avalanche Testnet faucet. Now we're gonna to have to connect our wallet in the top right here. I'm going to select MetaMask because that is what I am using. So once I'm connected here, we can select our network. We're going to be getting some testnet on Fuji, which is the Avalanche Testnet. Uh, we're gonna get AVAX because that is the coin or token that we need in order to deploy something on the Fuji testnet here. Uh, this is my wallet address that I have connected. And again, we're going to be able to claim to AVAX here using this faucet. Now I do have some AVAX in this wallet on mainnet, which is why I can just go straight to requesting the AVAX here. If you don't have those funds in your wallet, you will have to enter a coupon code here. But again, you can go to your documentations and find out how to get coupon codes in order to claim testnet funds. But I'm going to request to AVAX here. We're gonna confirm that I'm not a robot. We'll hit request one more time. And there you go, we have a successful transaction and that sent me some AVAX on the Fuji testnet here. So again, you can follow the documentations, go to the faucet and claim some testnet funds to deploy your smart contracts on the Avalanche Fuji testnet. Now within their documentations here, there is no bridge for bridging some say like Sepolia ETH or something to the Fuji testnet. There are some bridges out there that you can utilize, but none within Avalanche's docs. So I'm not gonna cover any of those right here. So if you are looking for testnet funds, head on over to the faucet or again, join their discord or you can get a coupon using Guild. So you just follow the links right up here and get yourself some testnet funds. Once you have those testnet funds, we're ready to go ahead and now deploy a smart contract to the Avalanche Fuji testnet. Now I'm here on the Avalanche Fuji testnet chainless page on third web. And this is a page, we'll link this down in the description as well too. We have information from everything from the chain ID, a link to the faucet that we just used, uh, as well as explorers to kind of view what is happening on top of the blockchain. Now in the top right here, you're gonna see add to a wallet. This is going to prompt us up with the ability to either switch to the Avalanche Fuji testnet or add the Avalanche Fuji testnet network to your wallet if you don't already have it added. I already do, so I'm just gonna switch on over to that network here. And now that my wallet is switched on over, you'll see in the top right here, I do have 2.314 AVAX on the Avalanche Fuji testnet including the two AVAX that I just claimed and I had some from prior. So now we have everything set up in our wallet. We have some testnet funds. We have the network set up in our wallet. We added it using the chain list page here from third web. If we scroll down to the bottom of this page here, you can see we have some getting started contracts that we can deploy to the testnet. Now what we're gonna deploy is a token contract right over here, which is an ERC20 standard contract. I'm gonna select that. You can read a little bit more about the token contract here. You can come down to the bottom, view all the functions of the contract, see all the events that it emits. You can see the code snippets to get started building with this contract using the third web SDK, as well as the source code for the contract right over here. We're gonna head back up to the top right and I'm gonna hit deploy now. I'm gonna give this contract a name and we're gonna fill out the contract parameters. So I'm just gonna put token, symbol is going to be token, and you can add an image, a description, and you can fill out again those the contract metadata and everything to your liking. Now down here at the bottom under network and chain, you should see the Avalanche Fuji testnet that we just switched to from the prior chain list page. If you don't see it here, you can just hit that drop down, search the name in here. You can search mainnets, testnets. We support any EVM compatible blockchain here on third web. So you can just search the chain that you're looking for by name or by chain ID. Uh, switch over to the Avalanche Fuji testnet and all we need to do is hit deploy now. This will prompt us up with a transaction here. Again, we do have to pay the gas fees in order to deploy this contract to the Fuji testnet, which is why we're paying the AVAX right over here. So I'm gonna hit confirm. We're going to play for that contract deployment and then we're gonna get a second pop-up here, which is gonna be a signature request. And this is a request to sign to add that contract to the third web dashboard so we can view it within our dashboard and look at all the features and functionalities that ThirdWeb has to offer with interacting and viewing data of the smart contract. And there you go, we have successfully deployed an ERC20 smart contract to the Avalanche Fuji testnet. You can see this is our contract name, the network that we deployed it to, and we have our contract address right over here as well, so we can copy that if we want to and use that 
where we need to. And just like that, with a few simple clicks, we were able to deploy an ERC-20 smart contract using ThirdWeb. And again, we use ThirdWeb's pre-built smart contracts to deploy our very own ERC-20 smart contract to the Avalanche Fuji testnet. And that covers this video on how to start building and deploying contracts to Avalanche. Again, we're using their testnet, which is their Fuji testnet. We learned how to get some testnet funds and tokens from their faucet, along with deploying a smart contract using ThirdWeb's pre-built smart contracts. From here, you can look at your tokens, you can mint them, you can transfer, airdrop, and burn the tokens as you need. You can check out all the different tabs here on the left-hand side, and we'll also drop the links down in the description below to other tutorial videos to show you how to start building with these contracts and how to use ThirdWeb's SDK to build your very own Web3 applications.